sucks. So, so you, you better, better just get this penis, penis sucked start off. off. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hold on, let me take that again. I'm having sex, so you better. No, I was going to go penis sucked off. Oh, again. You God. better suck this fucking penis. <laughs> That's better, yeah. So you better suck this what fucking penis. What song is that? I'm sucking off. I'm sucking. It's pink. Because you said, let's get this party started. Yes. Yeah, Stop. Yeah, you better. should get like a pitch pipe. Before Ooh. you do it, yeah. <laughs> only it should uh, look like a uh, child's dick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You should also just say it before every sentence so people think you have autism. <laughs> <laughs> what, just a little hum? <laughs> I was thinking we'd go to Jersey Mike's for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> yeah. Um, welcome to Come Town, everyone. Come Town, we're at the Come Town West Studios. In, Which uh, we found out is right next to the studios of the dun 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 the Bill Maher real time with Bill Maher show and guess what Republicans guess what ladies and gentlemen your boy Adam Friedland is going to be representing the Cum Boys yeah fuck I'm so jealous I'm going to see Bill Maher tomorrow I'm going to get so high and I'm going to I'm going to literally lose my shit yeah with weed uh, I've tried it <laughs> <laughs> you know who hasn't the Republicans, the Republicans. <laughs> the Republicans. that's who hasn't I will report back on it but I'm so excited I'm going to go to the taping at 2pm tomorrow Fuck, dude. I'm yeah. so mad. I leave tomorrow at 7 a.m. I'm missing the goddamn... Wow, you leave at 7 a.m.? Or I leave it. My flight's at 8.40, so I have to be there at like 7 or whatever. <sighs> Fuck, <laughs> I'm tired. This is the last episode of Come Town. Uh, before we kill ourselves. Before we all kill ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Nick's killing himself because of pr- precipitous success that he's experienced in the last six months. I'm killing myself because... Uh, I I just want to stop feeling this way. <laughs> <laughs> That's my reason. We do have uh, an old friend and uh, a guest that we've actually we've shouted him out a couple times <laughs> on the pod, and he's a good pal of ours, and we're really glad we could get him. He lives out Long here in L.A. Long Dong Mike Foodie. Long. That's, That's true. Uh <laughs> I that's my name and uh, <laughs> I am endowed that way. Yeah. So, yeah. Michael, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. Like more so than normal. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Michael's typically has It's a, a lot of pressure being on this podcast. <laughs> like, well, don't this is gonna be a bad episode, so don't <laughs> Okay. I, I can believe that. Yeah, don't worry about, you know, being funny or whatever. Okay. That that really takes the pressure on. Yeah. Yeah, we just have to fill, what, 58 more minutes, 57 more minutes? Not even, dude. I'd be surprised if it's even past a minute yet. (laughs) Check. Yeah. It's at 32 seconds. No. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck no way. Uh, But yeah, we got the big big boy foodie out here. Thanks for coming. Lives in fucking Santa Monica, dude. That's very nice. We now, what's that stand for, Santa Monica? It is it's well, we, named it's, after it's named after Santa and, and Monica, Monica from, from Friends. Friends. Yeah, yeah. You you guys put up with a lot of uh, <laughs> that shit today. from Santa. Yeah, that's a I, bit from our vacation day. Well, I, I like to drive around and I do like a, a day laborer character. Yeah, <laughs> and then he's like saying, asking the names of play. But I think it's really funny to do like a like a like a guy that obviously speaks Spanish natively, but he has trouble pronouncing. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, hey, do you know how to get to it? Uh, how you say a uh, 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 Santa Santica? <laughs> Santa Monica? Santa Mo... Mo... How do you get to a... Uh, p- uh, pa- Pasadena. <laughs> <laughs> is Pasadena even a Mexican or Spanish know. name? I don't give a shit. <laughs> probably. It probably. It sounds is. that way. Yeah, yeah, the joke is that they can't, you know. Say Spanish stuff. Say Spanish stuff. All right. It's a good joke. Yeah, I thanks, like it. Man. Yeah, I, I like uh, funny voices. So. Yeah, me too. That's a. Uh, you were saying earlier, or I was saying earlier, you take any uh, any accent and mm-hmm. you. Instead of turds, they say twerds. <laughs> <laughs> it works with any accent. I, I think like, where is the bathroom? I have to make a twerd. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many twerds in my eyes. <laughs> like, uh, I you, how do you get to the bathroom? Because I have to. I have to. Uh, it's a twerd. <laughs> That I have to take <laughs> is it twerd? I have to take twerd. 
Oh, Bomba Glut. I got so many twirls in me ass. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds I very read. good with the Jamaican. I've got twirls in me ass. I've got too many twirls in me ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really works across the board. I was uh, laughing again today, too. I had to look up again the history of Outback Steakhouse. You'd <laughs> peak. Um, Idem. Uh, yeah, he was yeah, doing this. Outback is a, it stands for South out 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 South Africa, <laughs> South Africa <laughs> South. Outback. Uh, it's a South African Outback. Hell yeah, dude! It's, it's a South uh, African team. I think it's actually Australian. You'd be <laughs> well. You'd be wrong if you thought that. Well, it's, what's funny about Outback Steakhouse is it's like a I don't know some investing article that has like the history of the company and it was founded by like three guys in. Like Tampa or whatever, yeah, yeah, in like 1987. Yeah. <laughs> Crocodile and, Dundee's big. <laughs> well, that's what exactly what did it. They none of them had ever been to Australia. They saw a Crocodile Dundee. That's incredible. They were like, let's just make an Australian <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> and then they refused to go to Australia. Beautiful. I don't Beautiful. think they've ever been. The guys that founded the thing. Yeah, what's food like in Australia? Uh, it's bull. It's awful. Well, just they deep fry a whole onion. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like Vegemite and shit and uh. boiled kangaroo tail. <laughs> oh, so you have nice. a weird fucking. Yeah, I have a big on mole on the top of my head. Oh. Stav is is running Adam's his fingers through. Right oh, here. that's probably cancer. Uh, no, it's I've had it my whole life. Um, wow, you cancer your whole life. I've been to dermatologists and they said that insurance can't cover it because it's cosmetic. <laughs> But when I go to the camps and they give me a prison style haircut, everyone will know. But until the then, I have to keep, you know, the. Are you making a Trump concentration camp joke? No, just uh, I don't, it doesn't have to be Trump <laughs> that's doing the concentration camps. But uh, you know, so you're casting an even wider net with that. Yeah, it could just, be like a phrenology. Like uh, people know you're an imbecile from the bumps on your great. skull. It's gonna be great when Adam shows up to the concentration camp and on day one, people are gonna be like. <gasps> Oh my God! You must have been here for years. <laughs> and they see his body. People start killing themselves right away. I can't. I can't live like that. Yeah. So you're here for I don't being gay into that. or uh, or Jewish? Yeah. Are you here for the the gay part or the Jewish part? <laughs> He's what yeah. we like to call a two for a round yeah. here. Yeah. We get to count him twice. Yeah. The high crime of ruining the podcast. Dude, I'm actually. It's gonna I, be my camp. I would probably have to go to the camps for my socialist activism first, <laughs> and yeah. for being a proud member of the Democratic Socialist. Well, when I America. sell the DSA to the American Nazi Party <laughs> in 2020, <laughs> and I take a big fat uh, check from the American Nazi Party so they can buy the DSA <laughs> for me, the owner. Oh, uh, not your owner? Yeah, you used I to be own, president. I mean, I, yesterday you were the I president. Own, I own 100% all the copyrights to the DSA. <laughs> your owner operator. You say socialism you owe me twenty dollars it's bitch. true the the nazi party was the national socialists right you know mm. but that they they might have been <coughs> a dsa type yeah well i'm a capitalist so, socialist so it's mm. uh interesting it's a new thing it's cozy <laughs> cozy you ever see that restaurant cozy yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's capitalist socialism. it's an ideology based off very shitty flatbreads yeah, well no suits. the sandwiches are good but they're yeah. expensive but then there's free refills on drinks and oh, that's the capitalist that's the, ca that's the socialist that's part. the that's socialist part, part. Yeah. Yeah. my dad discovered that restaurant a couple years ago and he was like obsessed with it <laughs> why so he's like let's meet at the cozy <laughs> <laughs> meet me at the cozy for, I'll meet you there that's how my mom is with Panera <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. always like it's my birthday do you want to go to Panera <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, my, my dad loves Panera too <laughs> <laughs> it's like what fucking, kind of weird shit is that? It's it's like you know pretend nice food for right. idiots, poor people. Yeah. yeah, I like that they give you an apple. It's a, at Panera. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice treat. Yeah, yeah. keeps I, the doctor away. I never got the damn apple, my dude. I'm yeah, always you getting chips. Bryce he throws no, no, it no, in the, their faces. The bread, the bread uh, uh, section is what I go for. You go bread. I go piece of Even bread. Even when you get a sandwich, you get a bread on top. Yeah, of I get sandwich. more bread. Yeah, nah, be. It's good bread, dude. It's pretty good bread. It's baked on premises. My brothers used to work at Panera Bread, so you know your brother <laughs> used to fuck around with them sour sour cheese loaves. We had a whole day we hung out at that, that Panera Bread, didn't we? In oh, Canton? yeah, me, you, and Dana. We were there for like a whole day. Why were we there I for can't that? remember that, but, or why, but we were at that Panera for like... Did you have a show in Baltimore, maybe? No, I don't remember. I think I was like... I was living in New York at the time, I think. 
I don't think so. I think I was. Really? Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, I remember we got we got Panera, and that's all I remember. Oh, I remember we made a joke about the Virgin Mary. Yeah, it was around Christmas, and <laughs> it was uh, the joke I made was uh, the Immaculate Conception was the the angel sucked off God and spit it in Mary's pussy. Yeah. And well, that's it is how it works. Yeah. That's, <laughs> uh, I guess it was more theology than a joke, mm-hmm. but that's literally all I remember about that day. I don't remember. It's that's cool that you just remember things in the context of what jokes were said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't we also go to that antique store that day? I don't fucking remember. Did we go? Fuck. What happened that day? I don't know, man. Were we our, molested? Our brains... <laughs> yeah. Dana raped us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Dana. <laughs> Maybe we were molested. Foodie, were you ever molested? I don't think so. <laughs> right? <laughs> but, like... Could uh, explain the nerves, Maybe. Yeah, no, I thought sort of because I uh, cried a lot for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> I was very nervous. Uh, the, it, the whole uh, maybe repressed, I got molested and just didn't remember. The it. repressed yeah. memory theory, which is like mostly bullshit, yeah. is has enabled people to all like steal molestation away from people. Who steal actually. molestation valor? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That was actually a topic on the last show. Oh, okay. Well. Molly yeah. got molested. Some kid sucked his no, dick. No, I didn't get molested. He got molested. and he's, I didn't get molested. It was a molestation. It's not a it molestation. was light. It was light. It was a, it was a light molestation. No, it's like sometimes kids <laughs> it was play under doctor. The- this was two kids playing molestation. <laughs> 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 this was, yeah, they were playing suck your dick against your will. Yeah. That's actually, that was the original concept of Operation. The game That's, operation, yeah, you yeah, had yeah. to suck the guy's dick without him <laughs> yeah. buzzing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what buzzing. being a doctor was, <laughs> yeah. like just sucking people's dick. Like that's why they used leeches. Yeah, yeah. 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 literally in ancient just... Rome. Yeah, the doctors <laughs> were just guys that were uh, gay. It was Good all about sucking, one hundred percent. How about these doctors in like the forties and shit? That when women came into them with anxiety or whatever, they just fingered them until they felt better. <laughs> like that shit yeah. was fucking they, yeah, like awesome. The 1800s. That's how yeah vibrators were invented. It's crazy that that's like. Just Wait, like, ah. that's real? Yeah, one hundred percent real. Vibrators were invented by a doctor that had like hand pain and was like tired of <laughs> masturbating women. <laughs> I mean, they must have gotten hard. I'm right? surprised that wasn't a Nick episode, or at least not in as much of the Nick as I had, I've seen. Yeah. No, it, it wasn't a Nick episode. You seen them all? I've seen them all. Yeah, that show's great. That show's really good. Never seen it. Um, I don't know. We should ask Danny Hertz, uh, our host's father, who's a graduate of Howard University Medical Center <laughs> in Washington, D.C. Yes, we should ask him. That's a great yeah. idea. Let's involve people that aren't on mic and are just passively in the fucking room. Yeah, yeah. They can't yeah. contribute to the fucking conversation you at fucking all. fucking imbecile. Do you have any more in jokes that you want to fucking tell on the I podcast? don't know. You guys were talking about going to a Panera one time. <laughs> yeah, that was that was interesting <laughs> Panera, for the people. It's Panera called Memories. Time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Has, I bet no one's ever done this joke before. Pantera bread. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, it's the first time that's... You get uh, cowboys from... Uh, um, what's that? Smell, hell, hell, hell tuna? smell. It smells like bread. Something like that. <laughs> Cowboys <laughs> from smells like bread. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, I would dude. eat that sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are other Pantera songs? Uh, Respect. R e s p e c t. Their cover. They covered that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they had respect. Are you sucking my dick? Yeah. Wait. Remember that one? No. Are you talking to me is with the real lyric. Are you talking to me? I never listened to Pantera. I was busy listening to good stuff. Is Man in the Box Pantera? No, that's Alice in Chains. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was listening to... Fucked it up. (laughs) That's right, dude. What are you going to (laughs) do? I blew the whole podcast. Didn't that guy die? Didn't didn't Alice in Chains guy kill himself? He died. He overdosed from heroin. Um. Yeah. No. Sorry. I wasn't listening to any of that. I was listening to Bach and like things like smart things. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I was. Johann Sebastian. You were, you were listening to classical music as a child. Yeah, my, my parents uh, kept about, me very sheltered. Stone ground wheat temple temple pilots. pilots. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thanks, man. Yeah. 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 Nick's eyes were in the back, rolled in the back of his head for the last forty seconds. Yeah. Coming up with that one, it was incredible to watch him work. Yeah, he's like a computer. 
He was a very like, slow computer. Yeah. <laughs> a slow gay computer. Yeah, he was yeah. buffering. And Covered in cum. Um, that a lot this, of homeless people fun, beat dude. I'm sure the listeners will enjoy this. Let's do more of these. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is. Um, Different types of heavy metal bread. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, um, <laughs> fucking heavy metal bread. <laughs> what a great segment. <laughs> <laughs> Up there with Panera memories. Yeah. <laughs> How about this, guys? Meal Talica. <laughs> oh, that's good. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roman oh, Meal Talica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, the ju- um, Juice This Priest. Ju- juice? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> What about what about Judas pressed? Yeah, there you go. Bread. Bread, pressed bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, iron, <laughs> iron made this bread today. Made Pum- in pumper nickel back. Yay! Oh. That's a that's a really good one. Thanks. Um, okay, they're not really metal. Just seven, Shut seven or eight up. more of these, <laughs> and then we'll move on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> fuck. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh during the holocaust do you think that there are holocaust deniers that uh just think that oh some gay G- there were some gay jews so uh there's some double counting going on the numbers oh, yeah. inflated. so that got to six million so yeah, it, oh, it had to have been at You're, least three million yeah it's tops. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It, all it can't be three, three million because you got you got your jews <laughs> you got your gays, but what about your gay Jews? They're counting them twice. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So three million Jews it doesn't died add up. in the Holocaust. Yeah, every it doesn't gay, add up. Every, every Jewish man was gay. Damn, dude. You cracked the fucking Da Vinci Code there. <laughs> the the Dick Vinci I just Dick need to get my Vinci truth chode. out there. The Dick Vinci Chode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I made a lady in a lift almost cry today. Why? So she, so the driver. First of all, how about, I mean, how about black sandwich instead of black Sabbath? <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> black sandwich. <laughs> uh, tell your story while we keep thinking of these and not listen to you at all. <laughs> I don't really. It's not no, really no, that good of a story. Tell it. It's not... I mean, I could have told you guys before the pod, but Sav said save it for the pod. Oh, sure. Blame it on me. It's not that funny. you're a bad storyteller. All right. So, I was in the lift today, and you know they talk to you here, not like in New York where they Mm -hmm. leave you alone. And the guy said, why are you here? And I said... I'm here f- to do a podcast, to record the, a podcast with my friends. So the lady sitting next to me <laughs> said... Smelt Zeppelin? That's all right. S- How about the, lead singer, fish, right? the lead singer of, of Stone Temple Pilots, Scott Subwayland? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Subway. Yeah, like Subway. Uh, yeah, Subway I keep going, Adam. <laughs> anyway, so this lady said, oh, podcast, uh, what's it ho- called? Hoagie Osborne is the... Lead singer. Uh-huh. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, Kazi Osborne. So anyway, so Kazi. this lady yeah. said, what's it called? And I said, uh, I don't know. It's a comedy podcast. I didn't want to say come town mm-hmm. because she was not the demo. Um, she said, oh, well, the reason I ask is because I have a podcast. Mm-hmm. It's a politics podcast. So I said, oh, that's cool. I have a couple friends that have a politics podcast called the Chapo Trap House. And then she started. So you name dropped Chapo Trap House in a lift. In a lift, in a lift. to strangers. <laughs> yeah. you fucking loser. Fucking <laughs> nerd. I know. She asked what it was called. And I said Chapo Trap House. No, that's house. not how you told the story. Well, I wanted to make the story quicker. I didn't want to. Why the fuck would you ever try to make anything quicker on this podcast? Okay, so I'll I'll beat I'll beat by beat tell you what part of the last fifteen minutes of bread. <laughs> We've been doing bread. <laughs> <laughs> um, she, go ahead. Do you got a good one? No, just let him go. All share right. Yeah. Anyway, so share bada. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like share, <laughs> share and shibata. But that's not even metal. It's music. For <laughs> uh, you could have come up with a better one than that. I with, think. With that's sh- fine. We'll come back to it. Keep yeah, going. yeah. Anyway, so uh, with shibata, you think? <laughs> yeah. So she said to me that they are horrible people. 
So I said, well, they, I think they're pretty nice. I, they're, you know, friends of mine. I don't think they're so, they're so about horrible. About Chiabata Boy, like the movie about, about a boy. <laughs> Chiabata Boy. <laughs> now we're in movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now yeah. we're in movies. <laughs> 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 Uh, so fuck. okay, so you're trying to have sex with so this woman. Said, so, you, so you pull your cock out well, and you're like, all, I know Will Medicare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was please not. suck my dick. I know Felix. No. Anyway, so I text Amber sometimes. She said they're horrible people, and I said, Well, I don't think they are. And she said they have coordinated harassments on people on the internet, and they uh, especially and they target with um, women and persons of color. So I said, I don't think that's true. I think, you know, you could disagree with someone without it being about, you know, their ethnic or sexual identity. Um, and she proceeded to get really upset at me. And uh, and then at a certain point just started shouting, um, this conversation bon is anchovies? over. Bon anchovies? Yeah, <laughs> like Bon what? Bon Jovi. Bon, bon Jovi, anchovies. yeah, yeah. That's not even a sandwich. <laughs> we, we, we left. <laughs> this just food bans. So she was saying this uh, conversation wait, is... Kazi Cosborn. <laughs> yes. Oh, like Kazi. That's... Uh, but I already said Kazi Osborn. But I, now I want to make Kazi Cosborn. How about uh, Beatloaf? <laughs> like uh, beets? Like <laughs> the <yeah>. vegetable? <laughs> yeah. Or Meatloaf. <laughs> meatloaf just works. <laughs> yeah. Meatloaf sandwich. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Sandwich. Call put sandwich at the end of Meatloaf. How about so. the, the beet tools? Like the... The grateful no, bread. Oh, grateful the bread. grateful bread. That's good. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so she got quite upset at me. And... Um, <laughs> The end of the story is that I well, well then I tried to apologize because she was upset. I was like, I'm sorry, uh, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, <laughs> and I said, I'm you know I'm a pretty nice person. I don't think I woke up today trying to make someone that I don't know upset. And she said, That's the problem. That's the problem. You're a good guy, aren't you? And I said, Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, That's the problem. You can't even understand. And I was like. I really don't understand what that your life is being made worse by a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand what it's like to be an irrational fucking retard <laughs> like me who screams at strangers <laughs> in Uber pools. So anyway, Jesus fucking Christ! I wish I had been in that car. I know. Imagine if she started. <laughs> well, if she knew, if she knows Chapo. Yeah, she knows us. Yeah, well, yeah, I would have been like, well, my podcast, uh, the Daily Show of. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forget the name. So I forgot the. Name name of her podcast and then i was like just as a matter of interest what was the name of your podcast and she's like i'm not gonna tell you of course <laughs> that's <not>. a good move <laughs> which was probably not. not a good move because i wanted to look it up we would have then, yeah i mean we wouldn't have harassed the end it. of the story is that the lyft driver kept throwing his hands up uh like wow this lady's really she's really crazy <laughs> and uh it got really quiet and i had about five ten minutes left in the ride and just the silence was very awkward. So I just started talking to the driver. And I said, you know, Uber is a lot cheaper here in L.A. than it is in New York. <laughs> and he said, well, we're not in Uber. We're in Lyft. And so I said to him, well, I deleted Uber because the CEO was sexist to women. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got out. <laughs> you fucking, fucking still trying I to got impress out. this woman. No, because I wanted her to feel... Uh, like I was uh, feel bad to feel bad, and I think I really got the last <laughs> word in there, and uh, I think I won the conversation. And uh, that what was, was her name. Oh fuck, I forget. Because if she has a podcast, I really want to know. We can engage in targeted harassment. <laughs> I really targeted harassment if you open your goddamn mouth. <laughs> That's right. And she was, bring it upon yourself by go through your lift history. <laughs> can I know what her name was? I don't think it has the people that. No, it'll just have the driver, but not who you yeah. pulled with. Well, she we'll was uh, contact the driver and get him. To- <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing about this podcast is because it has Adam on it. He's like just the target for harassment. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I get it from all sides, folks. The the right and uh, the, first of all, the anyone that like bitches about targeted harassment online is usually the person behind targeted harassment yeah. campaigns. Mm-hmm. It's the people that try to get people fired, and they're like, well, "Everybody, brought, go after this person." I brought that up, and I was like, "I think I said that this person that does that 
is uh, maybe a little unhinged. And she's like, you're saying that because she's a woman. I was like, no, I'm saying that because she tweets at people for 12 hours on end. Oh, who did she bring up? Sadie. Oh, of course. Yeah. So did she bring up? She brought up Sadie. And I was like, well, I think that maybe she's a little unhinged. And she said, obviously, you would say that about a woman. And I said, no, I think it's just weird that she tries to get yeah, people Yeah, okay, fired. Name, let's name any woman. And let's see if I call her unhinged. Uh, let's see how many how many women that applies to. Dame Judy Dench. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's unhinged. Unhinged. Barbara Walters. My, my opinion of Barbara women Wawa. in general is that they're unhinged. <laughs> yeah. There's not one specific fucking person. Yeah, Apparently, she thought that was gendered. For me to use the term unhinged. And then after I said that. It's a door. It's a a door to a bathroom that anyone can use. (laughs) (laughs) An opening that anyone can slide on into. (laughs) You know. Just, uh, yeah. So uh, so that was so my. You, guys fly? you really can't talk shit on Hillary out here in L.A. like you could in you know, like you can in New yeah, York. Everyone's a moron, retard here. Like especially, <laughs> especially I go around the street. I'm just using gendered slurs left and right, and people are yelling at me and screaming at me and honking their horns. In a very like uh, you can't like you were saying earlier, you can't say any movie is bad because like someone might have worked on it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's very similar. Uh-huh. People are very uh, strategic about. Yeah, a lot of people have fucked the same children Hillary has over here. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's sort of you know, who knows what kind of pizza gate parties they're hanging. Well, out fuck! At. I wonder who that woman was. I really want to know. She was now. Red Kahina, dude. Yeah, uh, <laughs> was it? Klein? No, she wasn't coming from the left. I think she was coming from the the lit the, the lib center role. lib. She's a lib. She's a lib. She's a lib. Oh, I fucking hate libs. <laughs> She's a fucking libtard. <laughs> Yeah, she's a total lib. Tar. Michael, how do you feel about libs? I'm, a, I'm not a lib, but uh, I think tactically it's immaterial whether there's the left or the lib because right, the median right. uh, political ideology is so far to the right. Like the sort of infighting is just a game of competitive uh, priorities. Dude, like, that's some smart type shit, right? Yeah, foodie, you're yeah. smart How as about hell, this? dog. I disagree, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you little fucking that. bitch ass <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, let's take his shoes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> take one of them. Yeah. Oh, make this Once man walk gone, in circles. I might as well not have the other. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, just, I'm not just gonna <laughs> hop around. <laughs> Michael, what you should do is when this episode drops, you should put a rose emoji in your name on Twitter. You'll get like more followers that way. <laughs> I think probably. They, they what are you gonna put the damn rose? I'm never doing it. Yes, you will. No, because it means that you're a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> if you get rose, means that you still have your. Hey, uh, you've never fucked your innocence. I, I think. thought. I thought. I seriously thought the rose thing was like. That's right. I watched The Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was like, just all a these super people, popular yeah, show. Yeah. All these people watched The Bachelor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, I thought the frog one was Sesame Street. And, <laughs> hey, you know, before you find your prince, you got to kiss a lot of frogs. <laughs> hey, did you hear that there's some podcast called Shit Town? Yeah. What the fuck, dude? They're yeah. stealing our whole vibe. Yeah, the people from Cereal stole it. <laughs> <Cereal. and, and laughs> they found out. I, I, Ira Glass found out about our shit. Yeah. There's Crime Town and Shit Town. Crime Town. That's not as bad as Shit Town. Shit Town stole our essence, dude. That's a bad word and town. Let's <laughs> fuck them up. That's you forget that like, the town. first 13 episodes of this show prominently featured copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> that like, I don't fucking... Even if someone launched a podcast also called Cum Town, I would not give a shit. <laughs> dude, that's why... That was see, rule, that's actually. the difference between you and me, dude. No, uh, I'm, Here's a, how I'm far the off the deep dude. end I am. I don't believe in intellectual property rights. <laughs> no, no, Michael. Do I. Yeah. Michael doesn't either. What no, does that okay. mean? I'm a copy copy leftist. Yeah. What, what does that mean? You can just use whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, you I don't. Own I can't. You know, you know, and I'm not even like coming in from like a, a critical mm-hmm. standpoint. It, it just doesn't make sense to me the idea that someone can own a fucking expression. Mm. Like if you uh, like, I because I I think freedom of expression is very important, and like I, I would support the idea, even though I think it's like wrong. For you to be able to, you know, go to a very crowded area and say, you know, uh, all black people are subhuman or whatever, right. use racial slurs, it's fine. That should all be protected speech. Yeah. So if that's okay, I don't understand why you couldn't go to the same space and just draw Mickey Mouse and say, <laughs> will you give me $5 for this? You'll get thrown in jail for that. And it just doesn't, like, I don't understand 
why one's okay and it's not the other. And I'm using that, you know, not to say that it that hate speech or whatever should be illegal, but that intellectual property rights really just don't make sense to me. I agree. Yeah, and I think we can just have norms. Like if you're doing totally unoriginal work, yeah, people can say, "Oh, that's not good. I don't want to reward that." But yeah, that doesn't get rewarded. And then it's also really bullshit works. because even then, that would be copyright infringement. The Mickey Mouse example, because you say, "Oh, well, you're taking money away from Disney," and it's mm-hmm. like. Not really. No, right. It's not right, like right, somebody's right, right. going to be like, oh, no, I don't need to consume anything Disney produces anymore because I have this drawing of Mickey Mouse <laughs> yeah. that I can look at at my home. And I only paid $5 for it to some insane man. <laughs> there is a, um, there's a bodega in East Williamsburg, which isn't there anymore, that used to have um, on it the sign for the bodega. It had the Shrek donkey. And Winnie the Pooh. Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, a big part, a big part of Latino culture is copyright infringement. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, it's true. laughs> Looney Tunes. Yeah, Looney Tunes. They love Looney Tunes. I love you go to like Bushwick or any like Mexican neighborhood. Half the businesses are like Disney font. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a place on, uh, on like uh, the Lower East Side. Um. Uh, no, sorry, it's in like Gramercy, and it's. Uh, Sorry, somebody's texting me something. Who's texting you? <laughs> Why are you texting me on this? Come on, I'm dude. Busy. Put your phone, put your phone on. away, dude. Uh, no. Is it business? Oh, I'll finish the story. It, uh, there's so a there's place, place on the Lower East Side. Side called the CBGBs, and that's where all the rockers used to go. You got the Ramones. The Stone Temple Pilots. <laughs> yeah. You got fucking... And if you yeah. thought that was good, now it's a John Varvatos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a John Varvatos. <laughs> and there's a CBGBs in Newark Airport now. <laughs> wow. Truly, the pauper has become the prince. (laughs) (laughs) I remember my first time at CBGB's. I saw a yellow card. It was fucking awesome, dude. Wait, when it was still open? Oh, yeah, dude. I saw a yellow card. You saw... Oh, dude, speaking of yellow card, you know what street Stav and I were on today in Santa Monica and uh, and Venice? Ocean Avenue. Ocean Avenue. Oh, wow. Sorry, uh, it's Gramercy. There's a place it's called... uh, (laughs) Oh, yeah. The logo is just the Paramount logo, but it's called Danny's Two Cleaners. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. In New York, so many businesses are just called the original business two. (laughs) It's like, it's not a fucking sequel to a business. That's not how this shit works. They already had one. They're like 90 Ray's pizzas, right? There's like famous original Ray's. There's original Ray's. Oh, I don't know. I'm just talking about the ones that are like... not Ray's. There's a Ray's pizza by mine that's called not Ray's pizza. Oh, that's funny. Now, I just mean like there's shit like there's Olympic Diner 2. Shit like that. It's like, just name an Olympic Diner. Who gives a fuck? I like in D.C. how everyone's fighting about who had the original jumbo slice. Yeah, yeah, Like the idea of having a pizza and just like... We're not going to cut it into as many slices. (laughs) (laughs) Bigger pizza... And we're not cutting it as often. <laughs> and uh, this is the Tesla of pizza. Yeah, we're you, changing the pizza game up. You know what? You thank, sold that idea. Thank you for putting the idea of copyright infringement and intellectual property into terms I can understand. Because <laughs> I was not following earlier when you guys were talking about like Mickey Mouse. But when you talked about Jumbo Slice, I'm right there with you. And I agree. I think you can't take intellectual property. Now. Right. You can't own ideas, brother. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah the idea man. of a caveman, he figures out fire, and then another caveman's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that so that I don't freeze the... Sorry, uh, mom. That's, it's that's my mine. Thing. That's mine. So it's, it's basically the elevated version of what we've talked about before on the podcast of copying. Like, yeah. hey, he's copying. <laughs> Stop copying me. Yeah, it's like now corporations so, are literally eight-year-old boys. So then what, what happens if... So there's just no value in coming up with a good idea, like a good well, idea first? Well, like... If you look at the history of like books and stuff, most of them were held in libraries. The idea that like you individually own your books, like it was a public or semi public, right, 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 right. Uh, like uh, consolidated collection, right, of of documents. So it's sort of like giving a property right in order to have artists be compensated instead of just like, oh well, we'll have patrons of the art. Right, 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 right. Yeah, exactly, and. Uh, Look at this. All these years later in 2016 uh, and 2017, a little plucky <laughs> podcast by the name of Cumtown <laughs> would find a website called patreon.com. Yeah, we're the we're the future of ideas capitalism here. Yeah, it's oh, true. Hell yeah, yeah ideas social. Professor Lawrence Lessig <laughs> would be so proud. <laughs> so Nick, yeah. 
How's uh, how's it going? <laughs> oh, I'm all right. Singing oh. like toast something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> toast what? I was trying to come up with something with fucking um, Rush, like but that's too easy. Brush, crust, rush, crust, rush, getta, crush, getta, crust, no, dude, rushetta, <laughs> rushetta, that's good. Yeah, all right. Just take the B off. Yeah, um, Foodie, did you ever do any weird shit as a child? It seems like you might have been a strange child. I, uh, of course, I yeah. did weird stuff. I used to read Dungeons and Dragons books about, and just never toast play. To toast with George Norrie. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It was Coast to Coast. Oh. Um, <laughs> I don't get that. It's a radio. It would be like a radio show. <laughs> so it's kind of like music. Toast to Toast. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Just a general radio show? Uh, Yeah, I think so. It was like a, <laughs> like a conspiracy thing. It's not a particularly well-known radio show uh, that rhymes with Toast. Did you say you used to read the Dungeons and Dragons manual and just never play? You yeah. just knew the rules? Yeah, just memorize rules to Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. What about prank? Didn't you used to do prank calls? Isn't there a oh. good ass story? Oh, yeah. I think that was on the I, podcast. I saw that story on <laughs> oh, the podcast. Oh, you stole her? Well, yeah, just yeah. tell me. Oh, I yeah. I, forgot. I, I did prank calls, and like, like normally I would be like, uh, do you do you want to get magazine subscriptions? I'm selling magazines. <laughs> <laughs> That's your prank. <laughs> just your it's, just, it's just telemarketing for free. <laughs> he just didn't show but, but like in a retarded voice. Okay, yeah, nice. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's, <laughs> but, That's but comedy. I couldn't think of anything. I call up this woman and, and I'm like, I'm going to kill you. That's fucking awesome. It's so good, dude. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> In grade school, I started this rumor that uh, my friend Tommy, we were talking about how we all had like a friend that we bullied named, and yeah, all yeah, named Tommy. Tommy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, did you have yeah. a Tommy, Nick? No, I didn't have a Tommy. I'm sorry. Uh, no, fuck <laughs> bitch. And uh, we would call shit. up the local radio station and request uh, Teddy Bear by Elvis Presley to Tommy <laughs> Skinner because we started the rumor that like he took uh, his teddy bear and cut a hole where the <laughs> pussy would be and put his mom's underwear in it and fucked it. <laughs> in elementary school? <laughs> this was middle school. Okay, middle school. Okay, and, okay. And uh, while waiting for like the bus, the school bus, yeah. <laughs> like when it was snowy, we went into like the baseball field and uh, stomped out Tommy loves Teddy in the <laughs> snow like across the whole field oh, and, wow uh, hell yeah, yeah dude and I, I looked him up and uh, he's a sexual predator to I don't know what for you can get on those lists for like yeah. public urination or something so maybe maybe uh, yeah it's you, just one of those you gotta but, leave an open mind do you yeah. think you drove him to fucking children <laughs> or do you think he was getting molested <laughs> while you were also bullying him and then he became a sexual predator I think the most likely thing is like we made fun of him for a reason because he was a strange fellow right. and that strangeness manifested later in life yeah like okay. it's not like my bullet. It, maybe I mean yeah, I, yeah. I was very inconsiderate of this person. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> oh, bullying is the best. Yeah, I, I do think that our bullying had some effect on on my Tommy, on Tommy Georgiani, into, into becoming a street magician <laughs> and a rabbi. I'm like <laughs> and a failed rabbi for like such a weird weird guy, like yeah, yeah. and a very dorky guy. Sure, I was surprisingly. Sure. Bullying. Like, did you not? Did you not bully? Or did I, you not get bullied? I I basically just picked up on the dynamics that I was like second weakest. <laughs> right, so, right, so like, found, like in prison, you just yeah, find yeah, someone yeah, worse yeah. than you and yeah, just yeah. beat the shit out and of rape him all the day. time. <laughs> Wait, what did you? You told me that when you were working that job after college as a paralegal, you got everyone to bully someone. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. The, there was this. Girl who always was like, "Oh, I'm I'm out of work. Can you give me more work?" Like, make her oh my god! Bad. And uh, she she was over <laughs> she was overweight, and we would have like an inner office email chains, like just mess. She was <laughs> overweight. We and we would just refer to her as F and then the at symbol. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, That's funny. <laughs> F, F at symbols. Yeah, is there a way you can work that into like a bread thing? <laughs> um, hold on. Well, she she had too many carbs. I'm there saying. he is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She worked plenty of bread into her thing. She had bread through her pussy. Is what I'm getting at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, watch it, bitch. These are your shoes. Shut up, man. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't uh, make me fuck you, dude. Next no. time you yawn, I'm putting my hard dick in your mouth. Not again. I can't do it. <laughs> you can't suck my dick? I can't stay awake here. Sorry. That's all right, dude. We we got some nice bully tales. Foodie, the surprising <laughs> bully. Did she ever find out you called her fat? I I don't think so, but like we did it just on the office email. Yeah. And they were probably <laughs> monitoring it. They probably just knew that we were monsters. <laughs> uh, I love working at a dumbass office, dude. It's It's amazing. Like when... Everyone's like, like relatively young, like the sense of like the clickishness. Right. It's like school for for sure. Like I was just amazed that I got to be in the cool group. The cool I thought group, yeah. I thought uh I thought that was amazing. I didn't I they're, were, they're just like, hey, you seem cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, well, man, that's such a rush. The standards yeah. are so much lower. I remember yeah. I worked at a fucking... Par- I was a paralegal for one year at a foreclosure law firm in Baltimore. And fuck, dude, that was one of the most depressing jobs I've ever had. I remember there were no... I think one of the partners killed himself because they were like embezzling money. Uh but there was like no standard of fucking professionalism whatsoever. <laughs> Everyone's getting sexually harassed like twenty four seven. So I hear the lawyers. Yeah, like but not even lawyers, like yeah, lawyers and then like the bosses. And there's this one guy who just, this one fucking ugly ass white trash woman, he made her take pictures of her pussy. Oh my <laughs> God. Like shifts off. And this just ugly ass bitch like, okay, we just go to the fucking, we go to the parking lot and just take a picture of her pussy. And it was, oh like, my God. It was just like, we all knew she was doing it. And everyone was just like, okay with it. I don't find like, just a picture of the pussy. No, like, that's the other thing that's so weird. That it's, it's not that like, It's not appealing. It's just, like, you need context. It's just like... It's a power thing. Yeah. And then he would show everyone her pussy. Like, everyone had seen yeah, her I pussy. Yeah, I think that that's the thing. It's like... It, it was gross. I didn't want to see her pussy. Yeah. It was fucking <laughs> disgusting. She was not... Uh, that place fucking sucked, What man. was this? The foreclosure The place? foreclosure law firm. Yeah, it was called Morris Hardwick and Schneider. Didn't you get fired from there? Oh, I got fired big time. I stopped from the working. the pussy showing place? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> well, I stopped doing that You work. got fired for not looking at the pussy? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I won't You're do like, it. We can't You're list not a that player. as the re- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, There's I, something uppity about that fat bald boy. I, 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 I had I had longer hair back there. Then. He is. We have the a no particular looker. You're not fitting in with our uh, corporate culture. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah we're, was, we're gonna need to see that taint or. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would flash taint. No, I just stopped working there. I just I basically I I felt bad because it was a foreclosure for law firm, so I got hired in July and I worked for a month, and then like, in August I started slowing down. By September. I wasn't doing anything, and then I didn't get fired till March of that next year. It's surprising how long inertia will awesome. just carry you know, oh, forward. Yeah. It was incredible. I work. My law firm was asbestos settlements <laughs> 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 all day, like looking for. Uh, sorry. Oh no! No. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is. Uh, X-ray, not a CT scan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking for poor people to fuck up a comma on something yeah. so that they don't get their money from a fucking sorry. This is fast slumlord. The time, this is fast the time bar for. Oh, that's that's. That, I felt yeah. horrible working in a place like that. Yeah. Just I, stealing money from the poor. I'm, I just made a spreadsheet that did my job, and yeah. then. Took four hour lunches. That's incredible. I'm glad I work at a good law firm <laughs> right now where that fights for women to get money from their husbands. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's where I, that's where I'm working. No, um, dude. What do you think is legal but shouldn't be legal? What is legal but shouldn't be legal? Oh, yeah. interesting. Like w- copyright should be legal, yeah, yeah, but. Yeah. It's- but what's the other end? Like, what, what's something that you could do? Uh, not fucking, not fucking me. 
Every every woman I want to fuck now denying you sex. Illegal. Yeah, women owe me sex. <laughs> You're entitled to sex, Savos. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's about time someone. I think societal beauty standards should be illegal. <sighs> Everything should be much more body positive. Uh, I think we're uh, saying things that should be legal or should be illegal. Should be <laughs> illegal. Trans fats. Trans fats. Trans fats should be illegal. I don't, I don't Is know what you said. <laughs> no, nah, they're delicious. <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. I don't give a fuck about society. Like maybe getting a midget and having plastic surgery on the midget so that it looks like a child, <laughs> <laughs> like a specific child. That's is that illegal? Is that illegal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, takes a video of you uh, having sex with someone's son. <laughs> it looks just like their son <laughs> nailing it to him. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so tight, dude. That, that might be the perfect crime. <laughs> it's totally illegal. It's totally legal. You can't get That's me legal. coppers. <laughs> That's legal. I'll Holy do it again. Shit. Damn. Michael, you you in another life That's really could have been a dude. criminal mastermind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have the perfect brain for it. <laughs> you really That's have so outside beautiful. the box thinking. <laughs> oh man. I can't wait to do that with Adam's children. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm going to find me just Remember to that look like your children. They story about half, the guy that got Japanese. arrested for bringing <laughs> Simpsons porn into Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I love that story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, because I can't imagine needing to bring Simpsons <laughs> <Yeah>. porn <laughs> for nah, a dude. trip. Yeah, for a trip. Man's yeah. on vacation. Like, I need specifically my Simpsons <laughs> pornography. My suitcase is, f- is half full of Marge I, sucking uh, off Lenny. I don't dude. bring enough socks <laughs> yeah. when I go somewhere. Yeah. And you're gonna, I always fuck up sites. and bring the wrong size toothpaste. <laughs> and you're going to bring the wrong... You, brought, <laughs> you have specifically, you have your Simpsons porn. <laughs> I'm surprised it's illegal. <laughs> it's it, no one's hurt. Is it I, I guess the copyright. No, it's illegal in Canada. Oh, okay. Because some obscenity thing. Uh, yeah. I, it, it because it, it depicts the and the, the way it works on the U.S. I guess like you know, Lisa Simpson is far enough away from being an actual child that it's not illegal. Okay. But in Canada, it would be. <laughs> oh, Simpson's oh, so it's child, child porn. porn is I see. I guess, yeah. I said mm. The Simpsons. That means all of them. The oh, I just thought it was Marge with like big ass. Yeah, I, was, I love those that's dudes. depraved. I thought it was yeah. <laughs> wholesome. Yeah, that's Simpsons, horrible. But, well, Marge with yeah. big ass fucking knockers. It was Krusty the Clown, and each the each point from his hair is going into a different one of the Simpsons females' <laughs> pussies. <laughs> yeah. I think it's funny that on the free sites, like. It, you can get anything, but they have the ads for like the cartoon porn. Oh, like yeah. that'll cost you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get this good free porn. Yeah, uh, everything, and then it's like, but if you want to see Brian Griffin have sex with Lois, finally <laughs> fuck Lois. <laughs> that, that'll be eighteen ninety nine a month. You're gonna want to do this. Well, I, I think that's really where the last of the money is in porn is in really specific fetish. Because, like, if you're really into, like, one specific thing, I'm sure you can get it, but you actually... Because there's scarcity, right? You can you can yeah, control you scarcity. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I knew these girls in uh, in Oakland who were, like, all living in a punk house and were all doing hair fetish porn because they all had really big bushes. Okay. Mm. And they were, like, making a ton of money and their primary demo was dads in the Midwest. Because a dads in the Midwest don't know how to get free porn, and b right. that's a very spe- you know specific fetish. They like that fucking hair reporter. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Dude. I like a woman all natural. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fucking. I've talked about it before, but I'll be a cam boy. If anybody, if anybody's interested, let me know. Sell me your prices. I want to be a cam. Well, I did get Nick and Soft Luchador masks in Mexico. Yeah, that was always my backup plan in life. <laughs> Cam boy with a luchador mask on. Well, now that I've seen your penis, that would be something. Oh yeah, what'd you think? <laughs> I don't understand how your foreskin does that. I know it's you weird. You really right? weren't lying. I'm not lying. My foreskin completely envelops you my li- dick. So you have phimosis? Is that what? It's yeah, called? yeah, yeah. Phimosis. Bro, phimosis. you should legit just get a circumcision. I can't get circed, dude. Why? You I'd can't be a traitor to my people, <laughs> dude. You should get a circumcision. I can't get circed. You should get an know. acrobat or a clown. <laughs> the Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so but your your orgasms? Don't they say that orgasms with a circumcision are more powerful because there's nerve endings that are no no no. it's better to be uncircumcised 
No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, orgasms without a circumcision are more powerful. Yeah. Because they're more nerve endings. Yeah, but I don't think that counts for me because my dick is wrapped up in skin. So you could... Do you, like, come inside your skin? No, it pops... The, the top of my head pops out a little bit. The top of my <laughs> dickhead will pop out just enough. Pissing has to be such an adventure for you. No, no, no. Pissing's fine. This is just a nice, even Is stream. keeping it clean a challenge? You know, shockingly, no. I don't know. Smegma? Not a lot of smeg. I'll <laughs> wow. take a... You know, sometimes I really want to be meticulous so I get in there, but usually I just... Sit in a warm uh, Epsom salt bath for 45 minutes a day, <laughs> and that'll do it, dude. <laughs> Just suck my dick. It's Epsom salt versus regular salt. It's a different chemical that's a salt. So it's not sodium, uh, which is chloride? I think it's sodium potassium chloride. chloride. Potassium, potassium chloride. chloride. But um, don't quote me on that, come down fans. Is that what, uh, when people say you smoke salt, bath uh, salt? salts? No, it's a different you, you're shit. You're not dude. smoking Epsom salts? No. Nah. Nah. Like from the... From yeah, your mom. How crazy it would be if like somebody was just like, holy shit, you can get fucked up off this stuff. <laughs> yeah. and no one knew. And no one knew. <laughs> For years. This whole time. <laughs> I had a friend in high school who used to eat morning glory seeds. He would chop oh, yeah. off the packets of morning glory seeds. You can get those offline. You can just get them at the grocery store. Oh, you can? And sell them, yeah, or like a gardening center. Oh, wow. And then he would he would eat them, and he's like, yeah, they got put, like pesticides on them, though. So <laughs> you like throw up, and then you trip. What the fuck is morning glory? You series? trip. It's, it's like yeah, a... You, it makes you like, yeah. Is this good salvia, dude? That guy, that guy used to take uh, Dramamine also. Oh, you take yeah. too much Dramamine, and he's like, yeah, dude, you got to take it like with an Adderall so you don't pass out, and then... And then you start seeing dead people. And I'm like, that doesn't sound like a good time <laughs> at all. People in the 70s used to try smoking, like, the inside of banana peels. Oh, yeah. And, like, that was a thing. And stuff. There are all these, like, fads to, like, do drugs without doing drugs. Would nutmeg fuck you up? I think it's very poisonous in quantity. I think it's oh, not really? good for you. Yeah. What? This shit's delicious, though, dude. Yeah, if you, you so like... Should I, so should I a little oatmeal? You smoke some Christmas... You know, <laughs> little eggnog. You get high <laughs> That's how you get that uh, Christmas cheer. You know? <laughs> yeah. Get your holiday cheer in a bottle. I just put eggnog directly into my veins, dude. Uh, I, I fucking can tell. Tie I'm up. looking at you. Yeah. Tie what? What do you mean? What the fuck is eggnog? That shit's gross. <laughs> that shit does. It's like, like, it. Is it egg yolk? Egg yeah, yolks and egg whiskey. Yolks and like Things, spices. Egg yolk, whiskey, and fucking... That's absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Cardamom. <laughs> We've been watching the Great British, <laughs> British Baking Show. Have you seen that shit? I've watched it before, but I'm, I'm not into it. Like I, lots rules. of people are into it. It seems like a positive, nice show. But. Fucking rules. I don't dude. understand yeah, how it's really different than it. any other fucking cooking show. Yeah, because it's not. They don't do the gimmicks. They yeah, don't do the reality show. Gimmick. The gimmick is that it's British. No, no. Nah, well, it's not the a gimmick. Listen, it's, it's all, a gimmick. It's all about it's skills. a gimmick country. <laughs> listen, eat it, England. Is a gimmick country. <laughs> Fucking whole, Brexit, dude, right? Oh, yeah. Didn't that shit you guys want to rap about Brexit real quick? Yeah, let's yeah. get oh, back there. Oh. Let's I get into it. some real I expertise <laughs> on continental politics. <laughs> shit, Fucking man. Jeremy Starring Irons. some guy who just read an article. <laughs> they, said they, were gonna, they said they were going to do it, and looks like they did it. You know what I think is interesting? Oh, boy, he's about to do is it. Everybody's talking about Brexit. And have you ever thought about how Brexit kind of sounds like British exit? <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought what? it just sounded like breakfast. Like, yeah. Yeah. It, does. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like crumpet <laughs> to me. It sounds like a, like something they would do at high or low tea. <laughs> they have different they have, they have we, high tea. We, we already did this joke on the show. Oh, we did. Yeah, you fucking imbecile. I saw your eyes <sighs> Get wide, and I knew you were gonna fucking do a joke we had already done. <laughs> you know, it's so. You know, we talk about bullying a lot, and <laughs> bullying is so funny. I, I really think it's funny when it's just the guy is not in on it, and ow! And the the guy, slapped, <laughs> I just slapped Adam. You didn't slap me. The guy is not. Yes, in I did. It, didn't I slap him? It. Yeah, it, Adam did get slapped. When the guy's <laughs> in on it, and he becomes a Pilkington esque character. <laughs> a for who? The, for for a who? A Pilking. <laughs> Pilkington. Who the fuck is Carl, Carl, Carl Pilkington, Pilkington, the oh. idiot from the Ricky He's like the you of the Ricky Gervais show. The Adam? The, no, you. The Stavros. No. He's, He's sexy and has a big ass dick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> what makes something a bitch sounds slap? Sounds cool. That guy sounds as cool. As opposed to just a normal <laughs> slap. 
Yeah, backhand. Yeah. I think is a bitch slap. A backhand is bitch slap. I think, I think if it's... like the person you slap is a bitch, oh, that's so what I makes it like it's the object of the slap. I remember when I was a kid. My parents are obviously foreign, but the first time my mom heard slap upside the head, <laughs> she thought it was the funniest thing. She thought the term upside was like the funniest thing she'd ever heard. She'd like keep calling back to it. I didn't get it at all. She's just like laughing Did she slap you upside the head? She heard it on the Chris Rock show on HBO. <laughs> she was like... Oh, so she was laughing at a joke. No, she she was laughing at the word upside. And she was like, she was like last, last night your father and I were watching the Chris Rock show and he said, slap upside the head. And she like could not get it up. What, what it. should it be instead? Like... Upside, just slap the. No, I mean it makes sense to me. I'm mm. goddamn. What the fuck is upside? American. Upside. I, mean, I I've known the expression, but mm. I, it just means I'm gonna sl- knock up you. the side of your head. Up the side of your head. I don't think the direction actually matters. I think it's just yeah. Slap the side of the head doesn't flow as well. Yeah, upside the head. Yeah, it's, it sounds way better. Slap you upside your head. I wish I was dead. <laughs> you will be soon, dude. Know, you. What do you think? Three months. That, no, much longer. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Foodie, where do you think he really? Where do you think he really is going to die? Uh, if I had to guess, like probably uh, mid sixties. Okay. Like, yeah. yeah, on the early side, but like nothing ridiculous. What about me? From what? What do you think? Being um, gay, suicide. I think no. suicide, but it's like he'll hunter, never care enough to do, kill no, himself. He'll do it a hunter. <laughs> he'll do it a hunter S. Thompson way. Oh wow, that's high regard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you will. You'll have breakfast one day. Oh, and people just, just aspire like, to have the same suicide. I was going to say <laughs> hepatitis, <Yeah>. but uh. <laughs> hepatitis sounds so much more right. <laughs> No. Like the untreated herpes he I claims think he Nick's have. just gonna eat breakfast one day and then just say oh, I'm gonna do it and then do it is, is that, that what Hunter S. Like Thompson a, did I think yeah I think he was just like that's it you think how did he kill himself you know it's in my opinion <laughs> he just decided one yeah, day. that's what you call a Brexit <laughs> you have breakfast and then you egg <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a real very Brexit. nice yeah. did we ever do one with sourdough did we ever do a <laughs> no I was just thinking about that the whole show that's why I stopped talking for about 35 minutes <laughs> <laughs> I was like there's gotta be a good sourdough one um, let's think. When uh, Stavros uh, sits on a chair, that's a Brexit because he sits and the chair breaks. Uh, <laughs> hey, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, it's a that's break good. Suit. Yeah, oh, bre- breaks it. Bre- okay, break okay. fast is when Stav sits down to eat break fast. Really fast. The chair eat a, breaks. Eat a sandwich really fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck, what could be sourdough? Um, <laughs> dough. Shower dough. No. That's not a movie. What rhymes with dough? Oh, um, let's just let's think sh- of. Band well, that's names. you know what. Well, that's a good place so- to end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is. We've done enough time here. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, you guys. It's been great, Michael, for having. <laughs> yeah, Michael, thanks for coming. So Foodie. much for doing. Yeah. Honestly, though, that midget making a midget with child shit. That's, <laughs> that's some of the funniest. That's one of the best. That's, that's one of the funniest jokes Sorry, we've yeah. had on this podcast. <laughs> that was really good. Sorry, Since I got the inception. real quiet, but. Uh, yeah. You know, that's life, I guess. So, you uh, thanks, man. Back. Yeah, yeah. All right.